So, without wasting much time, I would like to use this opportunity uh, to call to um, the podium uh, for a wonderful woman that is going to be sharing with us uh, what she has in stock for us at this time. Please help me to welcome Miss Yudi Masik. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Prince Adikoya, for the introduction. Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. Um, like you said, my name is Yudi Masik. I'm the CEO and founder of Lifeline Exposé. Um, we focus more on um, education, career advocacy, and enlightening the youths and adults to chart their career path in order to make uh, an impact and to change their life. Keep watching Study TV. When they come to the United States, Fellow Africans and fellow Nigerians tell them, oh, start with uh, CNA to get your feet wet. And um, that's what most people eventually start with. But they end up working a lot of hours and the job is very tedious. But there are very, um, there are many other opportunities they could, uh, or career paths they could go for that will pay them more than what they are earning per hour. As a CNA, you earn roughly maybe minimum wage, which is roughly $10 to maybe 13 per hour. And you do a lot of heavy lifting and you could end up hurting your back on the job. But there are different other options you could have explored and save your time, save your back, and have more time available for you to do other things and spend time with your family. So I'm going to go over um, some of the options you have. Um, you have vocational colleges. They are community colleges. They are universities. All this come with a price tag. But the vocational colleges, they don't. you don't have to spend so much to break the bank in order to acquire a certification to, to work. Um, the community college and the universities, you spend more. You have to register and be on campus in person. And it's semester by semester. And it may take up to two years for you to complete um, an associate degree or maybe a year for just a certification program. For the university, you have minimum of four years. But the vocational school gives you a lot of options and many people are not aware of that. And there are some options you can go through the route of companies that train you on the job and pay you and you can move into the industry. So I'm going to talk about some of them. Keep watching we have medical assistants. The medical assistants, you can get a certification from one of the vocational school or from a community college. It may take you just a few months or weeks for you to complete that program and then you get your certification and you find yourself working in either a doctor's office or even in the hospital. Medical assistants, they do some of the work the nurses do in the health care facility, but they don't do the job of a nurse. But you earn roughly 40 to 60K a year, which is far higher than what you earn as a CNA um, or nursing aid. So another one is a pharmacy tech. You can get a pharmacy tech uh, certification and you take the board exam and you work in the pharmacy to assist the pharmacist. You may earn close to 20 to $30 per hour. And that's better than the CNA. So I'm, not, I'm just gonna go down the list of them. Sterile processing tech is another option. Sterile. S-T-E-R-I-L-E. -E. Sterile, yes. S-T-E-R-I-L-E, -E, processing tech. You could get that from a vocational school and end close to 20 to 35, even no more. It depends, you can get that if you're working in the hospital. 
But for agency, you can earn more than that. You can earn close to what the nurse makes by going agency. But you have to get your experience first in order to do that. So that will pay you better. There's also the dialysis tip. The dialysis tech, you can get that by working with any of the dialysis companies. And there are two big ones. Um, I don't know if you're aware of them. There's Prestinos and um, what's the other one? Davida. So these two, they can train you on the job. They cover your tuition reimbursement if you decide to- Keep watching Static TV, keep watching, keep watching. Keep watching. Keep watching. Keep watching. On the job, they cover your tuition reimbursement if you decide to move further to get a, a RN degree to become a dialysis nurse, and they pay you better. They pay you like thirty to thirty uh, thirty-five dollars per hour. We also have the endoscopy tech, which is similar to the sterile processing tech, but they do more on. Work, uh, assisting the doctors in the OR for endoscopic procedures. You earn close to 60 to 80K per year. There's medical billing and coding. For those who are who like who prefer not to be on their feet and would rather sit down on a desk job, you can do medical billing and coding. You can get a certificate, um, it's called CPC, you can get it from AAPC, or you can get the certification called CCA, the coding, um, certified coding associate or certified coding specialist from AHIMA. It's the American Health Asso uh, Information Management Association. They are based here in Chicago. Keep watching Skatic TV. Um, so the coding, you also have, the CCS is also by AHIMA. Then they have the coding reimbursement specialist. If you have the RHIT or the CCS, you can work as a coding reimbursement specialist. You can also work as a medical coding auditor or a hospital coder and earn as high as 70000 per year. You have the coding compliance specialist. You earn close to five to six k per month and this is just coding reviewing doctors um the the coding for surgeries and medical procedures the billing and all that you earn as much as that the medical coding manager can earn as high as 90 to 110k the coding coordinator earns 60 to 80k so as an average it average it you get that from the associate degree but RHIA, you have to complete the bachelor's degree at the university. You earn close to $30 to $35 per hour or more. So the LPN is higher than the nursing aid. You earn close to 46 to 70 k annually. Then you have the registered nurse. The registered nurse earns roughly 85k to 120k depending on how high you go you may decide to get an msn after your bsn you may decide to get your rn from an associate degree which is two years you can complete that in a short time you still be a registered nurse it's just that you don't have the bsn you can decide to advance your career and go higher and become um what they call the nursing practitioner and you'll be in the hundreds, hundred Ks as your salary. You get that as your salary. Keep watching. Ultrasound technologies, or you call them sonographers. Sonographers, they earn close to 85,000 or more, depending on the facility you're working with. To become a sonographer, you have to get a degree, or you can decide to get the associate degree for it. So there are many options there in the healthcare. We also have the EPIC trainer and EPIC analyst or consultant. EPIC is a software where most facilities or health faci uh, um, hospitals are now moving into EPIC, using EPIC as their software for managing their health information records. 
And to get that, you can either be an employee that is trained by the hospital to get certified, or since you can apply to get to go to Epic Headquarter, which is in Wisconsin, in order to get the certification. And they earn close to 70 to 120K a year. So the non-medical areas that I just want to touch on, you have the scrum master and the project manager. You need to get the PMP, project manager uh, certification. You can get that by taking the course on a community college and you write the exam, you pass the exam and you start working, making close to $5 per hour or up to 115K per year. You also have the SAP consultant. You can get this SAP training by a vocational means, maybe someone who trains, or you can get this SAP training from a community college. You don't have to break the bank in order to do this. And the end, the functional ones end as high as 70,000 per year. So those are the few things I just want to touch, touch base on. And if you have questions and you need more guidance and counseling on how to go with one of these career paths, just reach out to me and I'll be able to elaborate more. Thank you. My name is Mr. Patrick. Keep watching Scabbet TV. With the career path, you, we all know that it costs a lot to get educated here. Um, the tuition can cost you a hammer, like, usually, roughly, you have to pay roughly 30000 to 50000 per year for tuition if you're going to the university. The community college will take lesser uh, per hour. If you are an international student, it costs you more because you're paying out of state. But if you're a permanent resident or citizen, you pay less, so you may end up spending maybe 15000 or less per year for tuition. The other, the cheapest route is a vocational training route. You just need to know the right institute or um, organization that is offering these training services. And you can get cert certified or get a certification for as low as, maybe if it's too low, maybe 1005 up to maybe 6,000, depending on the type of uh, certification you're getting. And that's a cheaper route. You can get that certification and earn as high as 60 to $100,000. Keep watching Skydeck TV, don't change that dial. And for those who want to go all the way, student loan is one of the things that cripple most individuals. You get uh, FAFSA, they approve you, yes, they'll give you the loan, but you end up owing so much over the years to pay back. And that hovers over your head for a long time before you pay back your tuition that you owe, the loans you've taken, private or subsidized or unsubsidized, it's a lot. But if you can be strategic to go the, the right route that will save you, that will, you spend less money, but get the best book out of your investment or what you invest, it will pay you more. And it's all about information. Information is key. And the more you're enlightened, it broadens your perspective and it makes you a better individual. You can achieve more. You can, you're able to pay your bills, you're able to buy a house, buy a car, and if you need help with getting um, information and resources about scholarship, loans, assistantship, which is a form of scholarship that, is, that they pay your tuition for you while you work with the university or the school. That's one other option. It, you, they will pay your tuition, so it's like going to school, tuition free, but you just work maybe 20 hours for them, doing whatever clerical work or maybe research that they ask you for. So those are just information that is available. And there's also uh, VOWA. In Illinois, there's VOWA. It's, uh, is a resources for those who are here. They would help you pay part of your tuition for maybe a semester or a year. It's only available for those who are from Illinois. So those are some resources. If you want information about, you can reach out to me and I, I can help you with that.